does the cutting of onions make you shed tears? Against the popular notion that the strong odor of the onion makes us shed tears, but in reality it is the gas released by an onion. An onion contains oils that have sulfur, which irritates not only our eyes but also our nose. When we cut an onion, the gas from it, known as propane thiol S oxide, combines with enzymes in the onion to give out sulfur compound. This compound rapidly enters the air. It comes in contact with our eyes, they automatically blink. Due to the irritation of lacrimal glands, tears are produced. These tears produced are a way by which our body wants to get rid of this chemical before it harms our eyes. When we rub our eyes with our hands while cutting onions, it further exacerbates the irritation. This is because our hands are covered with sulfuric acid and the caustic producing oil in the onion. Why does the fruit change its color as it ripens? Fruits do change their colors as they ripe to attract eaters and animals. Unripe fruits such as the green banana are bitter, raw and hard to chew, whereas the yellow ripened banana is tasty and sweet. Fruits change colors when their seeds are ready to be transported. Dried colors attract animals to eat fruits and therefore help spread seeds to various places where plants grow to fruit again. Since plants cannot walk around on their own, they only can attract animals or humans to eat them. They eat the flesh and drop the seeds or take them in the excreta, so that the seeds may find the favorable soil and conditions to grow again. Also, when you see a fruit has changed its color, it means that it is ready to be eaten. Why does it rain? Actually, raining is not a single activity, but it is actually a chain of activities. This process starts in warm days, when sunshine heats up the ground and above it all. On being warm, the air absorbs water from seas, river, pond etc. and goes up. On going higher and higher, warm air gets very low temperature of atmosphere and thus gets cold more and more. The temperature at which Water vapor gets converted into water droplets is called condensation point. After being converted into water droplets, tiny water droplets generally combine with other big droplets. Such big water droplets then fall back on the earth's surface because of their heavy weight and gravity. Such falling of water droplets is taken as raining by us. This process always starts in summer season, in very hot season or sometimes in spring season we experience raining. Why do bats hang upside down? Bats are mammals that are born with wings. Because of their functions, they have been unable to take much weight on their limbs. They are not strong to help them walk. Therefore, they lie upside down or hang themselves like that in caves. As they take up weight on their wings, it also helps them to cling to their offspring. The gravity also exerts a downward force so the offspring stays in touch with the midline clinging. Bats hang themselves and hunt their prey as the night sets in, not because of the myth that they have wonderful night eyesight. The high frequency sound made by bats is just to know the prey or what is lying ahead of them. This is because the sound which they produce reflects back. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, Subscribe to Sahil Book House.